Hey, what's up guys? Peach out here coming at you with Challenge Rift 193 video guide. If you guys haven't already seen the channel, we've been putting up some previews of the Firebird set for PTR 2.7.0 Season 23 preview. I got a Rothma video that is done. It's processing on YouTube. It should be live today as well. So if you're watching this Challenge Rift and you haven't seen that, go check it out. But without further ado, let's get in there and see what we're working with this week for Challenge Rift 193. All right, guys, as soon as we get in the Rift, let's click on our Soul Mirror and see what we're working with. It looks like we're playing a Veers Wizard today. Looks like Chantoto's Will Veers. We got a Swami. Uh, we got a Measure Schmitz for that cooldown reduction. This looks like an actual real build. We got Ashengar Blood Bracers, Magic Weapon Deflection. We got Force Weapon. Uh, so, yeah, not quite perfect, but with Magic Weapon Deflection and the Ashengar Blood Bracers, we would have been invincible. We do have Galvanizing Ward. So it should be pretty easy. We're going to pop Archon, get Archon stacks, and blow things up. All right, guys, as soon as we get in the Rift, you want to put your armors up, your Storm Armor and your Magic Weapon Deflection. Other than that, everything else should be pretty easy. We can put our Familiar up, too. Uh, we're just going to go Archon, and we're going to get Archon stacks and Teleport. So Teleport and Archon is always number three. So once you go Archon, you're just going to Laser Beam and Teleport to move, and that's pretty much it. Uh, we're going to pop Speed Pylons and get Rift, buddy. So I don't really know the layout. I just jumped in here blind, so we'll check it out. As soon as we come out, we can get right back into Archon because of Measure Schmitz, it looks like. So we can permanently do it. Now, you could stack your um, you could stack your, your Archon stacks even higher if you stayed out for just a little bit and, and did all that. But uh, for this Challenge Rift, it doesn't look like we need to. It looks like it's a 45, so we're super overpowered for this. It looks like the only thing that might be a consideration in this build is just the timer. So we'll have to see how timer plays out. But as long as you're running through, um, again, I'll break down really quick just the play style. So you can, once you're an Archon, you can actually put up your number two ability, which creates a force shield around you or a slow time bubble around you. Uh, you're really not going to need it for this. But just number four, get in Archon, right click, teleport with number three. You can put number two up whenever you get in and that should be enough for you to complete the rift there's a little bit more intricacies in this build but none of it's really needed in order to complete this challenge rift this week then you can see as i'm zooming through man i'm just going to make sure that my magic weapon deflection or my magic weapon and my uh, storm shield are up as i try to find the right way out of this rift level chat this is a pretty bad one so we're way ahead of timer, though. We got a Chanel pylon right here, which is going to make it even easier for us to stay in the Archon form. So as soon as we come out again, you could use your force, your uh, little ball thing, that name I can't remember, to stay in to get a little bit more damage when you enter Archon. But again, it's not needed. Things are dying so fast in this setup that we shouldn't need to do it this is actually a very fun build to play if you've never played this setup before this one's built almost properly so we have most of the things we need for it to make it really work and shine uh so this is this is a really good representation of what this build is is like to play especially this is one of the t16 speed builds that you would use on a wizard um so you would play this a lot if you were just maining and soloing a wizard all the time thought i had some orbs back here i missed we're at 96%. Again, as soon as we come out, we're just going to hop right back in. We're probably going to blow the Rift Guardian up super quickly. This is probably one of the easier challenge rifts that we've ever had to do, which if we would have killed a little bit more trash, we could have had them already. Again, putting my Force Time Bubble up, and then for the Rift Guardian, you can't actually just Hammer Fist on them. Once you come out of Archon and you go back in, you have double Archon stacks. Um, now, my Archon stacks are really low right here, but double Archon stacks is where your damage is really going to come from. And that's it, guys. This is possibly the easiest challenge rift we've had in weeks. If you have trouble with this, leave a comment in the YouTube comment section below. I will be live streaming tonight. So if you're watching this video the day I post it or any day this week, I will be live streaming on twitch.tv forward slash the peach out. Come hang out. You can ask your questions there. I'll be happy to give you some pointers. Drop a comment in the YouTube comment section below. I check several times a day for new comments. I'll catch you guys soon. Don't forget to check out the Rothma and Firebird videos. You guys can check them on my channel. And uh, I will see you guys next week for Challenge Rift 194. Peace.